and then I think it's not looking good we don't have some space here so let's just get that we have uh, a website called tailwind cheat sheet and this is where you can get all of the classes that you want to use I want to use uh, min width sorry min height so I have an option here uh, inside of layout what we could do is that wrap the uh, children with a div and inside of the children we'll put min edge screen so basically how in bootstrap you have different classes and it outputs certain type of CSS if you put a class tailwind class called min edge screen it's going to output min height 100 vh which means 100 uh, height of the screen so now if you go back on to the page you can see it's taking 100 I don't want 100 I think I want less than that so so currently we don't have an option of uh, 60 VH or 70 VH so if you want to add some classes uh, that are not available in tailwind config what you could do is you could go to tailwind config.js and over here inside of configuration inside of theme you put that configuration like in our case we want minimum height and you can name it whatever you want in this case I want to name it 60 VH because that's what it's going to output so it's easy for me to remember so all I have to do is just prefix this part which is min h and then uh, and then whatever the name of that min height value is so in this case 60 VH and you may have to restart the development server because uh, we have made changes to the configuration I have already done that so now if you check uh, it's been applied if you do an inspect element and then if you go and check you can see that minimum height 60 VH has been applied correct this class did not originally existed in tailwind but we uh, updated the configuration and we added that information which is great right so now it looks good uh, so that's great so you've got about and I want a way that my users should be able to uh, go to the home page also and what's the home page route so home page route is just slash so I'm gonna come back to my um, header index and over here I think it's better to pull this inside of nav it's just going to clean this up a little bit so I'm gonna say nav dot JS and say function nav return and it's going to return this and then export default nav so you can see it's already imported that and it's got all of the information that it needs and then similarly um, you can see there is also a, a tag here so we have to again wrap this inside of a link tag because we want to use the next.js routing <coughs> so we'll make it hrf and because I said for home page the route will be just slash nothing else so now if you go back and check oops something went wrong yeah I have to import that nav component right I created so nav that's it so now you can check if you do an inspect element because we wrapped it with the next.js link component this gets an HR of slash which means if I go on about page which I'm already on if I click back on that can you see on the um, URL bar that uh, it went to the home page which is great which is what I wanted and I click on about it goes there let's create couple of, couple more pages like two to three more pages so I'm gonna go ahead and um, create uh, another page so if you want to create a route and you and you want to create a page just create a page in, in the root directory of pages so I'm gonna say contact us dot JS I'm gonna say maybe um, events dot JS so automatically these routes will be available but first you have to return something from the component you need to make this a react component so we function contact us and then return I remember we have to use layout because we want header and footer there so layout and we can just say contact us and then export default contact us okay same thing we have to do inside of the events also so I'll just change the name to events and then uh, yeah let's just create one more page 
Oh, I think we are good. I think this is good enough. That's fine. So we've got events. We've got contact us. So now if you go on to events, you can see, oh, in the events, <laughs> I'm returning contact us. Sorry. Events, right? So you can see now we have events. If you go to contact us, contact us, you can see that you get contact us. Why? Because that's going to be passed as a children to layout and then layout already has header and footer. That's why we're getting that. Last thing we need to do here is update these values. Um, so instead of second, third and fourth link, we can just give links to these pages. So where is that? So it's inside of nav. All I have to do is just copy paste this three times. One, two, three. And this one can say contact us. We have created only two more, right? So just two. And let's move this up. Let's make this one as, um, what was the other one? So we had about, about contact events. And let's rename the val the label as events. And this one as contact us. And now, congratulations, you've actually got the working navigation. Click on events, take you, takes you to events. Click on contact us, takes you to contact us. Isn't that like amazing? You can go back to the home page also. It is so brilliant. You know, you have got your header footer, you've got your pages, and there is no page refresh. And it's so fast. You just click on it straight away, into it. Let's get some content in, shall we? So, so I'm going to, in, in, on the, um, for the form and stuff, which we will come back later, I can just copy this code. And for the contact us, I can just put this code over here, right? So I pa whatever, this is going to be outputted as children, by the way. Oh, this doesn't have a closing tag. Okay, now it's good. Okay, so now if I go to the contact us, you can see we actually got a form, isn't it? <laughs> and uh, what we're going to do is uh, for other ones, let's get some more content. Let's go with the like post or something, right? Let's go with posts. Posts. So I'll say function post and then it needs to return something. So it will return what I've copied here. So copy pasted. Something is again, they are missing some ending slashes like image doesn't have the ending slash. What else? Um, let's take a look. Click on there. P tag is fine. P is fine. Where is it? P is fine. Still, there is some issue. Okay, here, it's not closed. Where else? Where else? This image tag is not closed. Where else? Oh, here is the image tag, again not closed. Now it's fine. Let's just export it, export default posts. And now we can go onto the home page, which will be this one, <clears throat> and then put posts over here, right? So now on the home page, oh, now it is, there you go. So now on the posts, uh, on the home page, we've got something, let's get something on the about page also. I'm just gonna go ahead and use some small components from here, which.